Hey YouTube, this is Banded Carrie. Well, um, just to catch you up on what's going on with my life lately, um, it's been pretty stagnant. Uh, I've been putting off making this video because I want something good to share. I want to share good things and good news. But to be honest, um, it's been a little bit difficult. And the last thing I want to do is get on here and whine uh, or complain and tell you my problems. But um, I figure, well, maybe there's somebody out there that's going through the same problem. Uh, and if, it, if there is, boy, let me know because I could really use some friends with this right now. Okay, I'm 41, and I'm going to be 42 in December, December 22nd. Um, first of all, uh, I haven't lost any weight. Um, for a while there, I gained about five pounds, and it was really weird because I, I didn't know where that came from. I'm, I do everything right. You know, do I, do I occasionally have um, a bite of a cookie or something? Sure. But I don't overindulge. I, I'm a, I follow the rules. And, um, you know, lately, probably the only thing that I haven't done as much is exercise. And that's because um, it's freezing. Uh, it's in the morning when I, when I walk with my neighbor, it's below 30. And um, it's just too cold for us to walk. So that's kind of been um, different lately. Uh, but, you know, with my track record, exercise doesn't seem to make a big difference. Um, it does. I don't mean to make it sound like it doesn't, but it's not like the key for me. And I, I don't know because I haven't found the key. I would sure like to find it. Um, you know, I drink lots of water. I drink 66 or more ounces a day. And, um, and I know that's good for me, so I'm not going to quit doing that. Um, but just speaking of water, um, I gained five pounds out of the blue and don't know why uh, since I came back from vacation. I uh, went to my lap band doctor for a fill and uh, got the biggest fill I've had in a long time. Uh, I have been taking baby steps, usually like 0.2 cc uh, at a time. I've learned over this last year that little steps can make a big difference. But then I thought, you know, maybe that's what's wrong. Why, maybe that's why I'm a slow loser because I'm taking little steps. Let's take a bigger step. So I got half a cc and uh, I can tell a big difference in and how I'm, uh, how I could eat. Uh, so I'll talk about that in a minute. But getting back to water, um, my nurse practitioner that does the fills suggested I go to my GP and talk about getting back on on Lasix. I was on Lasix before surgery, and I got off thinking after I lost some weight, <clears throat> I didn't have the swelling problem. But I have noticed in the past uh, few months that some nights, not every night. But some nights my feet would be a little bit more swollen than other nights. And I learned that um, being on uh, Lasix is not an indicator of being overweight all the time. Uh, it's an indicator of your heart not being able to pump out, pump the fluid well. So at first I was hesitant to go back on Lasix because I thought I'm regressing, you know, um, or digressing, whatever you say. Um, I thought... I shouldn't have to go back on this medicine. That's why I'm losing weight. That's why I've lost all my weight. I should be better than that. I shouldn't have to be on the medicine. But then I did some research and learned that it was partly a heart issue. So um, I went to my GP, got on Lasix, um, going to the bathroom a whole lot now, and instantly in two days I lost five pounds. So that was reassuring. So I'm maintaining now, but I'm maintaining. And I tell you, it is so frustrating when you follow the rules and you do what you're supposed to do and you don't lose weight. So I asked my GP, who my GP happens to be a gastric bypass patient. Uh, ironically, he's gained a lot of his weight back. I don't know why. Um, I think that's kind of a sad testimony to his profession of being a physician and a gastric bypass patient. But I don't judge. I don't mean to judge. I'm just saying it can happen to everybody. It can happen to me just as much as it happened to my doctor. So I understand, but it's, I feel sorry for him because I, I know that it must be tough. But anyways, uh, I asked him, I said, why is it? You know, I've got this lap band in me. I've lost a good 40 pounds, and that's really good. I'm very glad. It's made a big difference in my body and how I feel and how I look. I'm loving it. And I don't regret getting the lap band. But... I would have thought that having a lap band 
would give me an edge over the average dieter. So if I was side by side with the average dieter and we're both doing the same things to lose weight, I technically, I assume, should be losing more weight faster than the other person because I have an advantage, right? I have a lot better than me. And uh, now I, I don't, ex I didn't, I never uh, thought that the lap band would excuse me from the work. I know that it takes work. I, I knew it would, and I don't, I don't expect it to not take work. But what I'm saying is, I did expect a little average, a little, a little leg up over the average dieter. But for some reason, um, after I've lost 40 pounds, it's like hitting a brick wall. I don't know why, but it's like my body is fighting me tooth and nail to lose ounces at a time. And I asked the doctor, I said, why? You know, and he says, well, you are turning 42 this year. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. I'm getting old, aren't I? And he said, yeah, you know, it, when women get older, uh, it's harder to lose weight. And uh, our bodies just tend to hang on to it. So I'm fighting my, my, my own body. I'm fighting this battle and the... I feel like I feel like like I'm not equipped. I mean, I have a, I have abandoned me, and that's a good weapon to have, but it doesn't seem to be working, and doesn't seem to be helping me. Um, Thirty minutes of exercise a day. I need to be doing that, and I, even though it's getting colder, I need to find a way to do that. I understand, so I have to work on that. Um, time management is difficult. I. I don't mean to make excuses. I'm not whining. This is just how it is, okay? Um, I can't walk in the morning. It's too cold. It's freezing outside. So I get my daughter up and we go to take her to school. I go to work. I'm there till about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And then come home, make dinner. And by the way, I go to school. I, go to, I do online classes full time. So I have homework to do. Uh, so you pile all that on top of each other, and when do I have time to go outside and walk? Um, but I know the right answer is, Carrie, you make the time. But if I make the time to do that, then my studies, and my, my, my uh, school will suffer, or something else will suffer. But I just got to find a way to do it. But in my talk to, and I talked to my nutritionist, and she says 30 minutes a day is not enough. I have to do it 60 minutes a day. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, 30 minutes a day is hard enough to find for me uh, in the afternoon. That's why I always like to exercise in the morning because nothing else took that time. And I don't live anywhere close to a gym. I used to go to a gym in a town 30 minutes away, but my daughter stopped swimming um, in, on a team. We couldn't financially afford it anymore. And besides, she many other, other factors that, that uh, come into it also. So I, I don't use that gym anymore. I can't. So I'm, I'm stuck to the road. If I'm going to exercise, I'm going to be walking. So according to my nutritionist, I need to be um, doing the heart rate, you know, doing the exercise 60 minutes a day. Uh, I won't lie. It's a challenge. It's, it's a real challenge. But when I was exercising and even in following the rules like I am now, the weight is slowly coming off. Slow, 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 slow. So it's discouraging. It's really discouraging. And 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 I have moments where I, I need to remind myself, you're a band patient. You have to remember that, um, Carrie. I have to remember that. Because uh, I'll mindlessly reach for something that I know I shouldn't have. Uh, it might it might just take a take a bite, you know. I don't I don't pig out on it. I just it might just be a bite, but it's the fact that I do it, and and I just want to kick myself for it. Um, so I don't know. Um, it, it's a difficult video to make today. Um, I'm sorry to be a downer. <laughs> I'm just um, I don't know what to do. It, it's it's frustrating. Um, I feel like I'm at war with my body, and and it's fighting me tooth and nail, and not giving up the weight. But at the same time, it's really weird. I feel really good. I, I um, Let's take the victories where they are. Uh, I feel so great in my body right now, even though I need to lose another 50, 60 pounds. Uh, I feel like I have shape. I feel like even though I'm at a standstill at my weight, I feel that my body's changing shape. I should probably measure, um, but because I feel like 
my measurements have gone down. So maybe something's happening in, in a form of measurement uh, that I'm not aware of. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I, like I said, I had a, a fill. It was a half cc. I think I'm now close to seven cc's in my 10 cc band. Um, there's a big difference in how I can eat now. Um, and I thought it a challenge to get the right foods in because only really bad food goes down easy, but good food goes down harder. So it's, it's difficult. It's a challenge to, to eat right because to eat right, those foods have a hard time going down. Um, and, and so that's, that's, that's the challenge and trying to find a new way of eating. Every time you get a fill, it's like starting over again. This one, this fill was a big start over for me. Um, and I, I, it's so ironic how the band, <laughs> you know, the bad foods go down real easy, but the good foods, which are the foods you're supposed to eat, have a hard time going down. Um, I'm not uh, PBing very much unless I um, accidentally eat too much too fast. Um, but it hap if it's really easy to happen uh, if I do that. But anyways, that's about it. Um, <sighs> Send positive uh, uh, thoughts my way, please. I could really use the uh, lift uh, in my spirits and... Um, I'm at war with myself and uh and I'm and I'm gearing up for battle and, and um this is a challenge. I think um well I know the, the before my um recent vacation to Florida I was psyched up. I had a goal. I had Florida as my goal and now that I reached that goal, I worked real hard to get there and did all kinds of things to lose as much weight as I could and I did it. And then once I reached my goal and came home, all right, what do I do now? I kind of lost that goal. I lost that that uh, fight for that goal. So I need to I need to create a new goal. And I'm thinking, okay, Christmas is a goal. Let's lose as much as I can for Christmas. But it's hard when it's so cold outside. It's just it's difficult. Life gets in the way, doesn't it? Life, life gets in the way. And. Um, Boy, anybody out there who thinks that lap band, getting a lap band or any kind of gastric surgery, uh, bi bariatric surgery, is is the easy way out, you just talk to me because it's not the easy way out. It does not take away the war in, that rages inside. It does not take away the mental problems, the mental hunger, the mental uh, the mental head games. It doesn't take it away. It's still a lot of work, but I'm still here, still fighting, and. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.